What's going on, y'all? Minzy here, bringing you guys another build. Uh, today, it's going to be my take on the throwing barb. So, for this one, we're level 91. Uh, our sheet damage is about 50k when we're buffed up with our frenzy. We are a deck stacking build. Uh, so, we're going to do all decks here. I did just enough life, really, to hit about 1.5k. And then our strength is just enough to get our gear on. Um, now this is kind of the stuff where it gets interesting. There's going to be a lot of different variations of what weapon you can use. Um, War Shrike or the Lacerator. Uh, after a good amount of testing, Wraith Flights, double Wraith Flights, quite frankly. Um, and you just want to get as high ED on them as you can. Uh, for this one, the ignore target defense doesn't work on bosses. Uh, if you guys don't know, it's only the minus physical uh, resistance roll that works. And in, I believe it is only halved. Uh, so this is effectively just uh, basically a high ED wraith flight, uh, as well as this one here. Uh, for your helmet, you really, I mean, there's plenty of choices here. You can go with the... Uh, I went with the Ariats, two sockets. The three sockets is probably best in slot. I put a 40 ED, 60 max jewel in there, and then a 15 IAS, um, 20 fire res jewel. Um, if you want to go the full strength build, you can probably use, uh, you can go this route and just go heavy strength and um, get a bunch of enhanced damage. Probably slap these bad boys on as well. Uh, for me, this is the route that I just chose to do, kind of more to hit my res caps than anything else, but uh, this is just a great helmet in general. Um, this is just the High Lords. I hit a faster run walk on it. It was pretty helpful, quite frankly, just to get as much run speed as you can. You are uh, pretty fast when you get your frenzy charges up, but you're gonna, you know, as much faster run walk as you can get on this guy is also very nice. As I said, just high ED Wraith Flights. Uh, the Goblin Toes, these ones have CBF on them. For this build, um, you are going to see that the uh, you could get your CBF here or here, really, but uh, I think the boots are the best place for it. This is a Wisp. This is best, uh, this is best for most physical builds here. Uh, the Heart of the Wolverine, I'll show you guys. Um, I'll just show you really quick on how to buff this one. So you're going to go out. You want to cast your war cries first, and then you summon your spirit. And, you uh, and that's going to give you the, the maximum amount of damage. Okay. Uh, next up, this one. This is the NOS, uh, and it is the 30 IAS one. These are pretty tough to get, but you do want to track these down. Just try to get as much attack speed as you can, because you do have a pretty high break point to hit. Uh, the string here is just a nice dual red or dual leech ring with res on it. Uh, anything can really do here. You could probably craft your own. It's better than this. Uh, this is just the one that I had. Uh, for my gloves, I actually chose the Soul Drainers again for this build. I just love these gloves. Uh, the minus monster defense per hit is fantastic, but I hit the IAS on these, which helped me hit my breakpoint. So if you really want, you can use something more like this. Um, you get, you get a bunch more attack speed here and the damage to demons. Uh, I've seen the ghoul hides work as well. And like I was saying before, uh, if you do have the strength, version uh, you can use steel rins uh, and then last up is my chest uh, this is pretty much the big boy in this build you can do a bunch of different things with this I chose to go with the three open socket two throw um, it's enhanced damage and attack speeds in it uh, as far as jewels but I've seen people use fortitudes uh, if you can't do this one and then I've also seen people use materials uh, if you can afford that so Plenty of options for chests here. Uh, this is just the version that I went. And on our swap here, we're just using two Hotos. Uh, anything works here for three War Cries. I can't wait until next season when you can get uh, double Grandfathers here and get the uh, plus six to War Cries, but anything will do. 
these charms are pretty standard for all physical builds really you're just going to get as many uh max damage ar lifers as possible and i have a little bit of faster hit recovery and res just to fill me out these are actually really the best ones that i found this whole league so you know i'm sure if you do better uh you can swap some of these out and just go pure damage instead of skills And speaking of the skills, uh, we'll go over these really quick. Uh, for me, I like to get the one into leap here, so I do go down and get this. Uh, it just really helps for jumping over those, like any obstacle really, that you, you don't want to just have to run around. Uh, one into frenzy, of course, This you are going to use this uh, skill pretty often. Of course, most of your skills are going to go into double throw here, uh, as well as its synergy double swing. Uh, as far as combat masteries go, uh, you want to max out your throwing mastery, of course, and then I just put one into these ones down here. Uh, and this is basically, this is where the rest of your points go. You want to max your battle command, and then you're also going to put the remaining points uh, into battle orders. Um, it is up to you whether you want to get uh, this Grim Ward and the item find. I found the item find was actually great. Uh, I hotkey this and I use it on bosses all the time. Um, it can give you maps and it can give you runes, so really there's no point in not getting that. This one is just for the more min-max characters. If you do want to be a boss killer, you can pop this uh, before you start killing stuff and then you do a ton more damage and you get a bunch of AR. And I would highly advise you getting the battle cry just to break immunities. Uh, it's pretty essential. Let's talk about the Merce here. Uh, it's a beast on him. Uh, you do want to get a, as high a fanaticism aura as you can get. Uh, the 10 would definitely be better here. I just have a 9 at the moment. Uh, and then I just stacked him with uh, your standard Merce gear here to do it really as much damage as possible and survivability now let's get into the stats uh this is this is kind of where the build shines you do uh you have your projectile pierce at 100 um you want to hit so you do want to get some nice leeches here and you want to hit as many boss killing stats as you can to hit your um 86 on the fhr here and then this is the big one, really. Uh, you have to hit 120 IAS. Um, just so you guys know, uh, the breakpoint is 120. Uh, you get 30 IAS from your beast, 35 from your frenzy. So that just needs you to get uh, 60 IAS from amulet, gloves, and belt. And other than that, uh, you just want to hit your res points and you're going to be good to go. If you guys are thinking about making this build or have any questions about it, feel free to hit me in the comments below or hit me up in game. I love to hear from you guys. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's roll the gameplay.